Hey there guys, I'm the Royal Gorilla and welcome to Just Cause 3. Today we will be taking a look at all the easter eggs found in the game. I have tried my hardest to not miss a single easter egg, but if any have slipped through the net, then be sure to leave them in the comment section below and let everyone know. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to find the Thor's Hammer Easter Egg, you'll need to make your way to these coordinates on the map. What you will find in this location is a giant crater, and in the centre, the Norse God's very own hammer. Thor has smashed his way into popular culture in recent years, mainly thanks to Marvel, so this Easter Egg could be a reference to Marvel's Thor, or simply the classic Norse God. Now, I had a bit of a play around with this hammer to try and get it to move, and let me tell you this, Rico is not worthy. You can't interact with it, use thruster bombs, or even use your fully upgraded grappling hook to move it. Also, this deer's not worthy either. Not even a mini nuke can make this thing budge. So if you're not familiar with what a big head mode is, it's basically a secret setting that you can turn on in the game, usually a cheat code, that makes everyone have big heads. Pretty simple. Now the Just Cause 3 version can be found at these coordinates on the map. In this location, if you make your way up to this rooftop, you will be able to find a pistol. Taking this gun will activate big head mode. The coolest thing about this gun is that when you shoot someone else, it will simply increase the size of their head without causing them to become aggressive or die. Even cooler than that is not only are their heads growing, but they're also becoming incredibly buoyant. If you knock them over or grapple them while they have a big head, they will peacefully float away. With a little imagination, you can use this for some pretty hilarious results. For example, you can turn this regular nun into a superhero with a little help from a thruster bomb. Or, if you want to step it up even more, why not get multiple people with multiple thruster bombs and create a human Catherine wheel? Perhaps the best use of this gun is to make stuff fly away. The more you shoot, the more buoyant the person becomes. Meaning that with enough bullets, you can make pretty much anything float away once you've attached enough people to it. Oh, and it also makes for some good nuclear missile target practice. So the Weeping Angel Easter Egg can be found at these coordinates on the map. In this location, what you will find are some old ruins. In a lower area of these ruins will be a sort of amphitheatre. In the middle will be a dead goat and surrounding it will be four statues. These statues aren't quite as inanimate as they seem though, as when you turn your back on them, they'll move. Only three of them will actually move and they'll just move closer to the goat in the center. They'll only move once, but if you leave the area and then return, they'll have returned to their original positions. There's no real interaction you can have with them and they can't be destroyed, even by the mini nuke. The doge mode easter egg can be found at these coordinates. Now when you arrive you'll hear a dog barking. If you head to this area the little guy will show up and begin to follow you. You'll need to lead him across the road to a dog house on the other side. You will however need to be careful while you cross the road as he can get hit by a car. Although don't try using nukes to stop any incoming vehicles as he gets scared, runs away and if you're like me you'll end up putting him down and having to start again. So once you actually manage to get him across the road and to his doghouse, a message will appear that says, if you now go into the menu, hit options and then gameplay, you will now have the option to turn on doge mode. What doge mode actually does is whenever you shoot someone, text will appear on the screen in Comic Sans just like the meme. It's quite a funny little easter egg and once you've done it for the first time you can turn it on and off at will. Also nuke the dog. Mm -hmm. 
Perhaps the most fun easter egg in the game is the soapbox car that can be found at these coordinates on the map. At the side of the road you'll be able to find this little car. If you get it on the road you'll be able to get inside and ride it down the mountain which is great fun. It will pick up some serious speed as you follow the path down even though it purely relies on gravity. The soapbox car is also needed to earn the feet fetish achievement. That's feet as in F-E-A-T, not feet as in, well, you know. Just in case you were curious, the car is not indestructible and can be destroyed by a nuclear bombardment, or probably any other bomb. The Dark Souls Easter Egg can be found at these coordinates on the map. In this location, what you will find is a sniper rifle stuck in a pile of firewood. This is a reference to the bonfires in the Dark Souls games, with the sniper rifle replacing Dark Souls sword. You can interact with a bonfire which will cause it to catch fire, but unsurprisingly this easter egg is indestructible and not even a mini nuke can destroy it. So the pogo stick easter egg can be found at these coordinates on the map. Once here, you'll need to make your way up onto the lower area of the roof. In this area, you will be able to find the pogo stick. The best part of this easter egg is that you can actually ride it and bounce around the rooftops and streets. There's really not much else you can do with it apart from do some sweet backflips when you dismount. Oh, and if you were wondering, the pogo stick cannot survive a nuclear bombardment. This easter egg can be found at these coordinates. It's a little tricky to find so you'll have to keep an eye out but what you'll find stuck in the side of the mountain is the buster sword which first appeared in Final Fantasy 7. It's quite highly detailed but unfortunately there's no way to move it or interact with it at all. Even hitting it with a nuke does nothing. In the run up to Just Cause 3's release, Nerd Cubed was one of the most if not the most involved YouTube personality in showing off the game in all its early stages right up to release. His quote from a video was even used in major marketing for the game. So to say thank you, Avalanche added an easter egg to honour all he'd done for the game. If you come to these coordinates, you'll be able to find the Nerd Cubed logo graffitied onto a wall. There's nothing interactive about it, it's purely cosmetic, so shooting a nuke at it won't do much. It's small, but it's really cool, especially if, like me, you've been following Nerdcube's coverage of the game. The snowman easter egg can be found at these coordinates on the map. When you arrive in this location, you'll find a small beach with a snowman on it. So, we meet again, Mr. Snowman. Now this easter egg first appeared in Just Cause 2, in which Rico could actually interact with it. Hello, Mr. Snowman. It's really cool seeing these easter eggs reappear in the series, especially since in this game, you can shoot it with a nuke. So, the rubber duck easter egg can be found at these coordinates on the map. What you're looking for in this location are two giant rubber ducks just behind the tree line. Now once you find them, you want to use your grappling hook to get them into the water. From there you can climb on board and ride them around. So the rubber duck is actually just a reskin jet ski, so I thought I'd try and take it to Mario's garage. Since the ducks are in a lake, you'll need to do this if you want to get them to the sea, but a helicopter and your grappling hook should be plenty to get the ducks airborne. So once I made it to Mario's garage, I found that unfortunately you can't add it to your arsenal. So instead I decided to just nuke it. So this easter egg can be found at these coordinates on the map. What you'll find in this location is a big round door on the floor and four buttons beside it. 
what you'll need to do next is press the buttons in this order. One, four, three, four, two, one. What will happen next is the door on the floor will open, allowing you to jump down. Once it's over, you'll find that you've been teleported across the map to this location here. There's nothing else in this area apart from four more buttons, but I haven't been able to find any further information on whether these do anything. Not even nuking the entrance has any effect. So, do you remember a while back there was a picture that drove Twitter absolutely crazy? The picture was a dress, but the dress seemed to change colour depending on who was looking at it. It was quickly dubbed hashtag Dressgate, with the image going viral across the world. Well, Just Cause 3 features a homage to this viral sensation with this next easter egg. So it can be found at these coordinates on the map. If you head to the top balcony of this building, you will find two women, each wearing dresses. Now the dresses they are wearing are identical to the viral sensation dress, with each colour being what different people would see from the original image. I would like to just mention now that I personally see white and gold, not that that really matters because they both look the same when you shoot them with a nuke. One of my main complaints about Just Cause 3 is that the game world isn't as interesting as it has been in previous games. Just Cause 2 had the ski resort, the international airport and my personal favourite, the Mile High Club. Well it seems that this next easter egg destroys any hope of the Mile High Club returning in its full glory in Just Cause 3. So this easter egg can be found at this location on the map. What you will find in this location are the remains of the once great Mile High Club. It appears that the high altitude exclusive nightclub has come on hard times lately, mainly because it's crashed. Half the wreckage can be found on the beach, with more being sunken in the water nearby. It's unknown how the club crashed or why it was in Medici, but I guess at least this means that we can shoot it with a nuke. So the last easter egg we took a look at was the wreckage of the Mile High Club, and this next easter egg can be found right beside the crashed ship. Just a quick reminder that in order to find this you will need to come to these coordinates on the map. Wandering around the Mile High Club's wreckage will be a lone bull. But unlike all the other animals in the game, this bull gives you the special ability to ride it rodeo style. Simply interacting with the bull will make Rico climb on board and take a wild ride. He can sometimes throw you off, but it's not that hard to ride him around the beach for a while. And unfortunately the bull doesn't seem to like being shot at by a nuke. So the arrested development easter egg can be found in the main city, which is located here on the map. What you will find in this location is a banana stand. This banana stand is a reference to the episode of Arrested Development called Top Banana, in which the Bluff family owns and operates a chain of frozen banana stands. Now it may be a little tricky to see in this video, but if you blow up the banana stand, 
it will erupt into cash. This is a reference to the line from the episode, there's always money in the banana stand. We're actually going to be taking a look at two easter eggs now, which both can be found at these coordinates on the map. If you come to this location at night, what you will find is there is a rave going on. Now, the first easter egg is the DJ. Those of you who have played Just Cause 2 will recognise this to be Bolo Santosi, who was the leader of the Reapers in Just Cause 2. My name is Bolo Santosi. I am the leader of the revolutionary army known as the Reapers. The second easter egg can be found in the crowd. One of the ravers will be wearing a completely green morph suit. This is a reference to the green man from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Green man. Green man is saving your life right now, bro. Just go with the flow. The party seems to be making quite a lot of noise, so it's really only fair that we nuke it for the neighbours. So, those of you who are unfamiliar with what Skull Island is, it's the fictional island that is the home of King Kong. Well, Just Cause 3 pays homage to this famous island at these coordinates on the map. It's best to head here in a chopper, but what you'll find in this location is a giant skull in the side of the mountain, which is very similar to Skull Island. Something that I thought was notable about this skull is that it has two large pointed rocks at the bottom of the mouth, kind of like teeth, which make it resemble something like an orc from World of Warcraft. Now one of the coolest things that you can do with this skull is shooting a nuke at it. If you shoot it in the mouth, it will have a really cool effect by making the eyes and mouth glow. Just Cause 2 featured a massive easter egg referencing the TV show Lost. There was an entire island dedicated to the easter egg including the famous hatch, a plane crash and even the smoke monster from the show. Well it seems someone at Avalanche must really love Lost because it's making a comeback in Just Cause 3. If you come to these coordinates on the map, just beside the lake you'll find a camp. There are three guys here enjoying themselves and playing the guitar. However, things get a little more sinister when you see a sign made from wood on the floor. It says, run, with an arrow pointing away from the camp. Now, if you want to see this easter egg, what you need to do is head down to the shore and look out over the lake. You'll need to listen out for this sound. If you quickly turn around, you'll see the smoke monster tearing through the camp. You can try and follow the monster but eventually it will just disappear into thin air. Returning to the camp you will find that everyone is now dead. You can't attack the smoke monster at all, not even a nuke will harm it. The landfill easter egg can be found at these coordinates on the map. Now what you will find in this area is a pretty normal looking landfill. But looks can be deceptive and this easter egg actually gives us an excuse to shoot a nuke at it. So all you need to do is blow up the landfill and then head back inside. What you will find is that the explosion has unearthed hundreds of copies of Just Cause and Just Cause 2. This may be an easter egg referencing the real life E.T. landfill in which thousands of copies of E.T. the extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600 were buried after devastatingly poor sales.
So there you have it guys, that was my rundown of all the easter eggs in Just Cause 3. Remember that if any have been missed from this video, please be sure to put them in the comment section below. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and will be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at the Royal Gorilla. Thanks for watching, I've been the Royal Gorilla, over and out. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer No ordinary let's player No but Easter eggs much better Da 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 His name is Luke aka the Roy Gorilla Even bigger than the giant Godzilla Follow him in every game he goes Da 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 He's almost got everything you need From GTA 5 to Assassin's Creed